Hello, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us tonight on TCM, where we've got a lineup of movies featuring a very specific type of thief. It's a thief who always sounds sexy and sophisticated, the cat burglar. Charming, cultured, and devilishly handsome, they're like catnip for wealthy, well-jeweled heiresses and rich, sophisticated, upper-class society dames. They'll steal your jewels along with your heart. We begin with the poster boy for charming, cultured, and devilishly handsome. From 1955, Cary Grant stars in Alfred Hitchcock's To Catch a Thief. Grant plays a reformed burglar living the good life on the French Riviera after the end of World War II. He's been given amnesty provided that he keeps his nose clean, but then a string of robberies like the ones he used to commit lead the police to believe he's back to his old ways. To Catch a Thief represented a departure for Hitchcock. This is less dark psychological thriller and more cat and mouse romantic adventure. It was Hitchcock's follow-up to Rear Window with Jimmy Stewart and Grace Kelly, and Hitchcock went back to Kelly as his leading lady in To Catch a Thief. It's hard to imagine two movie stars more charismatic than Grace Kelly and Cary Grant. It's hard to imagine because it can't be done. To Catch a Thief is Hitchcock at his most playful. The entire film is laden with sexual innuendo, what you see and what you hear. Hitch encouraged his two leads to improvise their lines and they spared no double entendre. We all had terrific fun trying to see what we could get away with, Kelly said. Carrie and I shared the same warped and sometimes risque sense of humor. Cast also features Jesse Royce Landis, who later played Cary Grant's mother in Hitchcock's North by Northwest, and John Williams, who'd twice been in Hitchcock films, The Paradine Case, and Dial M for Murder. The crew included some Hitchcock regulars, cinematographer Robert Burks, editor George Tomasini, costume designer Edith Head as well, with a script by John Michael Hayes, who wrote four screenplays for Hitchcock during the mid-1950s. From Paramount in 1955, To Catch a Thief. To Catch a Thief won an Oscar for cinematographer Robert Burks, who shot 12 films for Alfred Hitchcock. It's hard to go wrong when you have the French Riviera as your backdrop. Hitchcock planned a six-week location shoot in the spring of 1954, meaning plenty of time for Hitch and his cast to enjoy the sights and the delights of the Mediterranean coast. For Grace Kelly, she made the most of what seemed like a paid vacation. She even brought along her boyfriend at the time, Russian fashion designer Oleg Cassini. A year later, Kelly returned and met the man who'd make her unavailable to work for Hitchcock again, Prince Renier of Monaco. She fell in love with the prince, became Princess Grace of Monaco, leaving her Hollywood career and Hitchcock behind. Up next, more cat burgling, as Robert Redford needs all the help he can get to steal a precious gem for an African diplomat. 